pretty resounding performance and victory. What pleased you most about it then? How we owned the pitch. I thought we were really together. I thought we were compact. We were difficult to play against. I think when the game demanded that we needed to be physical and work hard and, and, and stick together, put our bodies on the line, the players gave that and more. And we thoroughly deserve our clean sheet. And as a manager, that's always your base. Um, we know we've got top players and talented players. Um, I felt if we would have scored against Watford first, it could have been a similar scenario. It's important that you get the first goal. And then we built on that from there and we really hit Southampton at the right times today. Really ruthless and major quality in all our four goals. You mentioned the right time. The goal just before half-time was quite an important moment because you've been creating chances prior to that, haven't you? Yeah, we, you know, Fraser's made two or three world-class saves. We could have went in at the break uh, in a more comfortable position. You know, at 2-0, you're always concerned that the next goal's really important. Uh, Phil's, again, built on the 2-0 scoreline. He's sent two or three the other way. Fantastic goal. Um, and then we, we finished it off with four, but I think if there had been five or six today, no one had had any complaints because our attack and play in the final third was superb. Second half, I want us to play a little bit more football. I want us to keep the ball away from the opposition and really enjoy the game rather than you know, giving it back to them on the regain. Um, I felt we spent too much time in our half in, in the second half. I want us to be uh, more of a possession-based team when we get ourselves in a comfortable position. But look, that's me just um, nitpicking and, and fine-tuning. But look... I've got nothing but praise for the players. And Philippe Coutinho today, we wow. could have had two or three more, but he was he was wow. kind of like a player that's growing into his role here at Aston Villa. Listen, he, he's happy, he's settled, the players and all the staff have made him feel welcome. I knew that was the, going to be the biggest challenge, can we get him smiling and enjoying his football. The, the talent for me was the last thing to worry about because I know he's a, an absolute top world-class player. And some players uh, are on this planet and when they're at the top of their game, sometimes they're above the game. And um, I thought today he was just head and shoulders the standout player. He was creative, he could have had two or three more assists, he could have went for goal himself, but he puts one on a play for Douglas Louise to score, he gets his own goal, he's just a world-class talent, and when he's smiling and when he's happy, it's very difficult to stop him.